Well, thank you for joining us once again on the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde, and here are the stories we're following at this time. The Presidential Election Petitions Court has admitted certified copies of academic and work records of President Bola Tinubu tendered by the People's Democratic Party and its candidate Atiku Abubakar. The documents include a BSc certificate from the Chicago State University, NYSC Discharge Certificate and Mobile Nigeria Oil PLC Certificate of Service. The PDP had brought the document through their subpoenaed witness, Mike Ednauru Emba, who explained that the documents were purportedly obtained by Tinubu, but bore the name of Bola Adib Kunli Tinubu. The Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, has announced that it will conduct a review of the just concluded 2023 general election. The National Commissioner and Chairman Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, said the 2023 post election review will be held from Thursday, July 4th to Saturday, August 5th, 2023, and will focus on all aspects of the electoral activities before, during, and after the elections. He explained that a review would be done to learn lessons from the elections and chart the way forward, adding that the electoral umpire has been holding the review meetings after every general election since 2011. The Department of State Services DSS says there are plans by suspected terrorists to carry out attacks on places of worship and recreational centers before and during the Eid al Kabri celebration. Peter Afna, spokesperson of the DSS in a statement on Thursday evening, called for more vigilance prior to the Islamic festival. Afanaya said primed improvised explosive devices re recovered from suspected terrorists during the raid in Kogi and Nasara states were evidence of the planned attacks. The head of the COVID inquiry has condemned the thugs and trolls who abused leading scientists during the pandemic. He, the harlot, spoke out after England's chief medical officer, Chris Wheaty, warned that the threats and intimidation risked dissuading experts from helping in a future crisis. Wheaty began his evidence by describing how he saw firsthand the effects of the pandemic while working in hospitals. He also admitted that the UK did not have the ability to scale up quickly to deal with the pandemic in areas such as testing. The Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMATA, has said the Blue Line rail system will begin operations in August 2023. Managing Director LAMATA Abibola Akinajo said the test run activities would soon close, allowing for passenger operations to commence. On January 24, 2023, former President Mohamed Buhari inaugurated the first phase of the Blue Line Rail project in Lagos. Tributes are pouring in to the five men killed on board the Titan sub in what U.S. officials say was a catastrophic implosion. It emerged the U.S. Navy originally detected an acoustic anomaly consistent with an implosion shortly after the Titan lost contact on Sunday. A robotic diving vehicle found major fragments of the sub on the seafloor about 1,600 feet from the Titanic shipwreck on Thursday. In sport, former Super Ego striker Odion Igalo says he is willing to play in the Nigerian Professional Football League for free. Speaking on the possibility of a return, the Ajigna Bond striker said playing in the Nigerian League would be a great privilege before he ends his career. Igalo had a brief spell in the Nigerian leagues with Prime FC of Oshun and Julius Bejer of Lagos before moving to Europe in 2007. And that's it on the newsroom. To join us at the top of the hour for more stories, I am Fola Shadi Ogurinde. Bye for now.